Hey carnivores, today we're making a manly man steak for men. I mean, it's for women too, but look at this. This is a tomahawk steak, a 28 day dry aged tomahawk steak, and we're gonna reverse sear it on the big green egg. Stick around, I'll show you how I do it. Welcome to the backyard. We're doing a backyard night shoot today. Uh, I've got a 28 day dry aged uh, tomahawk ribeye that I actually got at my grocery store from the butcher here. So before we get started with the tomahawk ribeye, uh, there's a trick I wanna show you guys. So I've got this kale here, and I know you guys are all carnivores, so this is an important thing for you to learn. So I'm gonna use avocado oil here, and I'm gonna put avocado oil in the pan, and I do that so that when we put the kale whole right into the pan. All right, watch this. With the avocado oil, look how easily this slips out into the trash. It's like nothing. Boom. Oh my God! Wow! Okay, we're not gonna eat kale on this channel. So, let's get started getting our tomahawk ribeye ready. Now, you notice that the grill's not going yet, and that's because I'm gonna do something different on the grill than I usually do. So let me put this steak away and show you what our program's gonna be. Okay, so you guys may have seen this before. This is my charcoal basket for the egg, and this is a new tool that I've got from Kickash. It's the Kickash basket divider. So this allows me to put this right into my charcoal basket, and now I'm dividing the basket into one large portion and one small portion, and that allows me to create two zone cooking. So we're gonna put charcoal in the small portion over here, and uh, we're gonna use this large portion under that. There's gonna be no heat, and that's where we're gonna do our low and slow for the reverse sear. So I have had so many questions about how to open a bag of charcoal that I decided I was gonna show you guys because it really is really easy. All right, so if we can get in tight on the camera here, you'll see that there are two sides to the stitching on a charcoal bag. This side has uh, like a wheat woven stitch, and this side has uh, just a straight stitch across. So what we wanna do is have the woven side facing us, and then on the left side, there's this knot right here. And there's a string going through the last loop, and I'm just gonna pull that string out, which is harder to do with gloves than without gloves, but I don't wanna get charcoal on my hands because I'm cooking. And then when I pull it out, you ready for this, guys? Literally straight across, and my bag of charcoal is open. No knives, no scissors, no fighting. I've got my bag of charcoal open. So this is a uh, Fogo premium hardwood charcoal. You've seen me cook with this before. And uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and load up the small portion of the basket. Now let's go over and get the grill uh, lit so that we can uh, get the food prepped while it comes up to temperature. Okay, so I'm just gonna put the charcoal basket straight down in over the uh, kick-ash pan. So let's go ahead and get this lit. Uh, if you've been around before, you've certainly seen me use the uh, grill gun. If not, this is the grill gun uh, from Grill Blazer. It's my favorite way to light a grill. And uh, if you don't have one, you can get one using the discount code EMV10. And I'll put a link in the description to where you can find it. Hello. So I was just going through our bill and we will not be paying any of your hidden fees. So all I'm gonna do is light this and then here we go. So let's go ahead and get this steak seasoned while the grill comes up to temperature. So for my binder today, I'm gonna to be using Wagyu tallow. My favorite binder, if you don't have tallow, use avocado oil or another high smoke point oil. Don't use olive oil. Olive oil does not have a high smoke point. This is a smoke point of 420 degrees Fahrenheit, 216 Celsius. And so when we sear, we're not gonna end up burning the oil that's on this steak. All I'm doing is spreading this around. So we're gonna salt and pepper all sides of the steak. The steak's ready. We're gonna sit it out here. It's pretty chilly out here, but it's still got a little bit of temperature to come up and the grill's gotta come up to 225 when I've got clean smoke from the grill. I'll be back. It'll be probably 20 minutes for me 
But for you, it'll be like. So uh, Darth is running at 220, 221. On his way to 225, we've got nice clean smoke. Yeah, you're gonna make it all 220? Yeah, 220, 221, whatever it takes. And also, I've got a temperature probe that I'm gonna put right into the middle of the thickest part here. And we're gonna smoke this over that Fogo Premium uh, hardwood charcoal until we've got an internal temperature of 120 degrees. And then we'll come back and we'll sear it. Okay guys, the steak has reached 120 degrees. Time to move it over to the sear side. I'm gonna give it a quick sear, and then we'll see you right back here for tasting. Hey, welcome back. Hope you enjoyed watching that as much as I enjoyed doing it. This, I'm very excited about. You can see from the color, luckily it's got a lot of good smoke on it. I did it differently. I did the reverse sear where I just uh, smoked on the front and then seared it on the back so it was really quick. It's had a couple minutes to rest. It should be ready. You ready to try a tomahawk steak? Yep. Off the big green egg? All right, so let's cut off this bone. Uh, you wanna do that? No? Oh. Okay. <laughs> Isn't it awesome having a dad who's so awesome? Mm. <laughs> Tell them I'm awesome. He's awesome. Tell them that's awesome. That, that is awesome. <laughs> <laughs> All right, it looks like we got it done perfectly. So everybody, we're going for moist, tender, and yummy. I'm gonna cut a couple of pieces here. Ready? Cheers. 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 <laughs> that's pretty good, huh? Moist, tender, yummy. M, moist, yes. T, tender, yes. Yummy, four stars, five stars. 100% on yummy. That okay. the best part of the culture. So we nailed it. All right, you wanna try the cap? If you guys haven't seen, I actually have done an entire video with just a ribeye cap. I actually did two of them, one sous vide and one on the grill like this, and uh, they both turned out pretty amazing. All right, you ready to try some cap? That's a big bite, is that all right? That's fine. Cheers, cheers. I didn't think it'd get more yummy. That's actually got more flavor. It's not just more tender. Yeah. This is a good method. You should try it with that kick-ash uh, basket divider. It made it a lot easier than having to smoke it and then set up the grill for searing and sear. And boy, it really turned out great. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, check out this video right here. This is the other tomahawk steak I did. I actually did it on a Weber kettle. And if you've already seen that one, I'll put another one down here that I think you're gonna like. We'll see you next time on Eat, Eat More, More Vegans. Vegans.